All right, good morning. So we have here today this beast. It's a Alienware. Beautiful machine. Um, so the issue is, as reported by customer, it got moved and somebody gave it a clean and after that it won't work. So I haven't had a chance to work on it. Let's do a live work on it, see if we can find out what's going on. Plug in the power. Very heavy machine. Put it on a dolly. Okay, let's plug in the power. Power. Hope it won't explode. There we go. Now we don't have a green light. It's supposed to be a green light where it's connected to. Right there. No green light. So when I did plug it in, the lights here were sort of went off a little bit. Let me try that again. One, two, three. No, it didn't do it again. Okay. Maybe some kind of a storage. So. <clears throat> we need to open this beast up and have a look. See if we can find out what's going on. Maybe it's simple as a, you know, just the power supply. button there or reset button he said he did press a reset button here so maybe that resets the fuse there's a fuse of some sort there's a little button there you press it says there's a short circuit okay okay I'm assuming this sort of moves into a lock position there's a screw there let me just check what that screw does I guess that's like a lock switch. Okay. Okay, there we go. So you do that screw there. And this thing comes out like an alien. Right. It lives up to its name of an alien wear. Alien technology. Okay, I do need want to work on this machine on the table. So what I'll do, I'll make some room and hopefully our table won't break. There we go. Okay. Beautiful. So what we can see here is a modular power supply on the left. The modular power supply. So what we should do, we should get a green light when it's plugged in. Um, so what we should do is uh, just take a part of these connections first. As always, be safe. So we can put everything back the same way. Okay. We want to roll out the power supply being the issue. So these are the G4 graphic card power supply. Okay, this is most likely the main ATX, the main motherboard. Probably not, maybe, maybe not. Probably not, okay. Is that for the main motherboard power supply? Okay. And what else we got? Oh, they're all labeled, so you can't really go wrong. Okay. We'll just do another test like this. Plug in a power cable again. Let's plug it in. Still, we don't have a green light. Okay.
this may as well be just a power supply problem my only concern is if they'll use the um, proprietary connections of some sort making it impossible to use the third party power supply we don't know okay let's plug in the cable again we're going to connect the cable we got nothing plugged in ideally you want to load the power supply most of the time but i just want to see a green light come on so let's see if we get a green light here hope it won't explode okay it's always a fear Okay, there's another, there's a different power cable, just to rule that out. So it's not a power cable problem. So, something killed this uh, power supply unfortunately, and it doesn't want to turn on. Okay, what have we got in terms of power? Yeah, this is the annoying thing. This power supply has, um, so we got this here. We got, it's got two forms of power supply, PCIe power one, PCIe devices. And this is the, I'm assuming this standard power supply connector is there, the four pin, which is most of the time the case. Okay, these ones here. Okay, and that's the standard ATX. So we might be okay with that, we might be okay with that. This mm, looks like a looks more like a graphic card power supply. It should be fine. So this will power these guys and I don't think we need this in. Okay, we can maybe do away with that. And And that goes for the red ones. Okay. Just trying to figure out what's happening here. Right, we'll bring that back up. Hmm. Okay. So the question is, can we use a standard power supply? In terms of power, what have we got? I've got here a generic power supply. Let's try plugging it in, see what happens. Okay. 
Okay, so we got the 8-pin power supply, standard ATX, and we should at least get a fan spin or something happening. So plug in the power, and let's see what happens. Should be pretty much standard power supply. Okay. Any lights on the board? No lights anywhere. Press the power button on the, over here on the bottom. Nothing. Is there a power button in the front? Yes. Fan spin. Computer is currently on. So it's a power supply problem. Definitely the power supply issue. You can see there the light. Okay. So what we're gonna do is power off the unit. Okay. So it uses the PCIe there. Okay, let's just connect that and connect this. Coming from my power supply. And there's another one required on the board. So the board why does it have one there? Maybe to supply power to the other parts of the system. Okay. And PCIe power. Let's see what happens with this here. Yeah? Um, that's in, that's in. Now the SATA devices don't have power, so that's fine. This has HDMI out, great. So we'll connect the computer to HDMI out. So we should see the screen come up. I'll connect the HDMI to the computer. connected and the keyboard and mouse and power button again we should have the display change there we go and we might burden to buy it automatically or not I'll press F2 or delete Okay, what does it say? <coughs> i7 5th generation 32 gig RAM Okay A13 Okay, Alienware area 51 R2 Nice Now Okay, so do I have an SSD with an operating system? No. Just worried about the power supply for the data for the hard drives on the other side. Fans are working. I think we should be okay to use a third party power supply. Just need to reroute the cables a little bit. Hopefully they will reach. Front USB should be fine. Okay, let's cut the power all together. Okay, we're back here. Let's disconnect this.
Okay, I want to see the other side where the other like hard drives and whatnot are. <coughs> Okay, so here is one problem. This is the power. I need to know how that's supplied. We could maybe get away with this. We can plug in power there, no problem. Oh yeah, sorry. So this is the other side. So we'll need to run a four, four pin Molex to give power here. And we've got our standard hard drive just there. Surprise, this unit doesn't have an SSD. Hard drive, hard drive. I'm just concerned about this, the DVD power. Where is that power cable going to? That's the front USB connectors. Oh, it comes from here. Standard Molex. So standard um, Molex, this one here. So we'll be okay with that too, no problem. All right, so we'll go ahead and clone quite the customer for this job. Um, but that's the issue with this, simply a case of new power supply. And answer to your question if you have, you can use standard ATX power supply to use in this area where our Area 51 R2. Uh, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to support this channel.